Okay, welcome back again. Uh, we're uh, going to show you how to sign a painting today. My name is Dick Ensley. I'm a Tennessee artist. I live in, of course, Tennessee, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, near the Great Smoky Mountains. We have one painting I'm going to show you. I've already, we've gone through the process. I showed you the finished painting. It's dried now. I'm going to show you, we've already gone through the process how to paint that picture. It's already been scanned. I'm getting ready to make prints of it later. But I'm going to show you how to sign it now. Now's the time you can sign it. And this picture is right over here. And you have to pick out a color. You got to pick out a place to put your signature. Now I get this question all the time. How do I sign my picture? One thing you don't do on a picture is you don't put a title on a picture. Galleries will not take it with a title. It looks more like a poster then. So we're going to sign it. So pick out a color. Well, what do you want to sign it with? First of all, you need a good brush. You can use a nice pointed. I, I like the flats. I get a nice, nice chisel edge on these flats. You have to use a little turps in it so it, it makes the paint very loose. Pick out a color. Pick where you're going to Okay, would you sign it here? Well, if you sign it here, it shows it off balance, okay? A picture has to be balanced. If you put a picture into a, uh, uh, a show or something, one of the things is that if it's matted, they look at the matting. If it's framed, they look at the framing. The whole thing has to complement each other. And the signature also. The signature has to go along with the painting. So let's pick out a nice little place. Well, how about right here in the middle? No, you don't want to put it in the middle. Right about here is where, where it would be balanced very nicely. What color are you going to use? Well, I like red painting. A lot of the paintings are signed in red, blue, depending what you like. Let's just pick out a nice, uh, this is kind of a, a cadmium red. Add a little bit of turf to it, not much, just to make it very fluidy. Now, when you sign your painting, you're going to have to hold your your arm like this or something, or something to rest it on. Now, I have practiced, and a lot of artists have practiced my signature. You want it to look neat, okay? Uh, go through a process of uh, study of, of signatures and look, see how people sign their paintings. Some are very sloppy, some of them are neat, some of them are just great, great uh, ways to sign it. Let's just sign it here with red. And don't sign it in, in curse, to sign it in, in, in straight up and down, don't Sign in cursors like you're writing your name. That's another thing that a lot of galleries look look at. This painting's already for sale. Somebody wants to buy it, but prints. If you make prints, you'll make a whole lot of money in prints. Uh, we're going to talk about that in just a second. Okay, there you go. We've got two. We're going to sign another painting this year. We're going to sign that one. Okay. Okay. This is the way I sign my name. Okay. Now, we've got another painting here. What, where are we going to sign? Well, here again, you know what? Here's the barn. You don't want to put your thing this right so here. It'll off balance it. Let's put it again right over here in the corner. Let's pick out a different, let's pick out a blue maybe. Uh, maybe a deep, either a cobalt or a lizard or a um, ultramarine blue. And here again, you may have to add just a little bit of turps to it just to get it so it's very fluid. Okay, here again, let's just move this one aside. Just hold your arm here. We'll sign this one. Signatures are very important on your paintings. The first thing that people look for is your signature. There you go. But you have no idea how many students have asked me, how do I sign, when do I sign, where do I sign? Well, this gives you an idea how to do it. One of my students, she signed her picture, and I won't give her your name, but she was signing someone in the cursor. She went to a gallery, and they said, no, we won't take it with a title. We'd like to see your signature signed in just a nice print. There you go. Okay. That shows you how to sign your painting. 
Uh, well, again, welcome to my studio, and thanks for dropping in. My name is Dick Ensing. Look me up on my internet or on the website, dickensingartist.com, or write me, dickensing, at bellsouth.net. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs>